Um, my name is Jason Lally, and I am the Open Data Program Manager for the City and County of San Francisco, and I work in the Office of the Chief Data Officer. Um, the most exciting thing about being at Data by the Bay uh, is really being able to talk to um, folks who are in sort of engineering, data science roles, um, the traditional technical roles. Uh, because we, at Data SF, which is the program I work for at the city, um, our goal is to empower use of the city's data. And um, this is a, a key group that could use that data. Um, we want to make sure that we are constantly improving our program and, and the data that we publish. Um, and so this is as good of any a, a audience to talk to. Um, and we haven't had the opportunity to really engage um, as, as deeply as we'd like to. Data, I, well, data is cool and exciting. To me, it's always been cool and exciting. <laughs> um, why is it? Why is it getting more attention these days? Why? Why are people paying more attention? I think um, living in a in a hyper connected world has made everyone very aware of <clears throat> the way data moves through our society and how it impacts society. Um, I think, uh, particularly uh, for better or for worse, um, all the various. Uh, um, privacy breaches and, and other things. I mean, people are very aware that there, there's a lot of stuff being collected about them, um, about what we do, and, and I think we are all trying to understand what that means, and I think that we, we can do that best if we do that together as a society. So I think it's always been important, it's always been cool to me. I think data should um, support great decision making. Um, uh, it doesn't, it hasn't always. Um, and, but I think we're going to get there. I think we're going to move forward on that. And so I'm excited that it's, it's, it's getting the attention that I, I had always wished it would. So out of today's tracks, I'm really uh, interested in, in understanding what other people are doing um, in terms of impact in society. Um, I, uh, I think there's this really interesting connection between the sort of deep uh, technical knowledge and data analytics and all the stuff that's happening in industry and then how that plays in society and I think that bridging um, between the two is really important um, because often um, they're siloed and really folks who are working in the private sector should really be aware of what, what are the things that are going on out, out there um, because it's actually not out there, it actually impacts them. Um, and so I think that those those talks excite me the most. Um, and then just personally, I think learning a little bit more about what others are doing, um, just it's, it's always great to learn more. Um, so I'm excited to be here. My key advice for becoming a great data scientist is um, borrowing from my talk uh, I think the real tool that any data scientist and maybe any practitioner needs is empathy. Um, and it's something that's not obvious uh, maybe to someone who comes from a background in data. Um, data is rational, it, or it feels rational, it feels um, like it should just, the numbers should just tell you what it is, but we all know the reality is there are things that we don't know. There are questions we need to ask the data, uh, of the data. Um, and I think that starts from a place of empathy and understanding, and um, that can be empathy for the folks you're trying to answer questions for. It can be empathy for even how the data has been collected. Um, I think that is one of the, um, the most important tools for data scientists, and I think it will help a, a, an aspiring data scientist grow even better because if they're oriented toward empathy, toward understanding, um, I think they'll ask better questions and then they'll learn to use the tools better to answer those questions.